Good day fellow investors, stocks will crash, economic collapse ahead, recession, it will be terrible, the new great recession, it will be the worst thing you have ever seen, is one of the predominant topics on YouTube. But let me give you an objective perspective on this. Let me give you a list of all what the doomsayers have been saying over the past 10 years. Yes, they were all damn wrong. And I'll also show you how if you listen to them and how you invest by looking at what can go badly, you miss on the great returns the stock market delivers. So let's start with why a crash will happen in 2020. That is perhaps the best way to start. So let's say Trump can't push the economy further. Inflation forces the Fed to push interest rates higher and therefore it's more difficult to service the debt. The huge budget deficits that are in Europe, in uh, the United States. Let's say that the Brexit deal doesn't go good and then that it pushes Europe and the UK into a terrible recession. Then um, everything gets into contagion from Greek, from the terrible banks in Italy and things like that. That could contage the whole uh, global market and then we are all in deep, deep, deep trouble. Then we have China that is doomed because it's a communist country. It has trillions of trillions in debt and is investing in all crazy investments that will never lead to any economic return. The situation is clearly unsustainable. Plus the money printing has pushed stocks so high up that the only way is down. That is, let's say, a summary of what can go wrong, right? Now, a market crash will come inevitably, a recession will come, that's normal, that's natural, but it costs you a lot to time it wrongly. Let me show you what the biggest doomsayers have been saying for the past 10 years. So Nouriel Roubini, 2010, there are some parts of the global economy that are now at risk of a double deep recession. From here on, I see things getting worse, 2010. 2011, David Rosenberg, another recession is coming and soon. Jeff Gundlach, 2011, it seems suicidal to buy a broad-based basket of stocks or economically sensitive commodities or emerging market stocks, all of which are very levered to economic growth. In 2016, he said, sell everything, nothing looks good. Then Lakshman Achutan, Economic Cycle Research Institute said that he's sticking to the forecast made in September of 2011. A new recession is inevitable despite improvement in high profile economic indicators, job creation and unemployment and stock market rally. He said data gathered since September forecast only confirms his view that economic growth has slowed to such a degree that the downturn is now unavoidable likely by late summer 2012. Yes, right. Mark Faber, I think we could have a global recession either in Q4 or early 2013. That's a distinct possibility. Then you have many others. The data is clear. 50% unemployment, 90% stock market drop and 100% annual inflation starting in 2000. 13. Let's go to Peter Schiff, 2013. We've got a much bigger collapse coming. This is 2013. I'm 100% confident the crisis that we are going to have will be much worse than the one we had in 2008. The crisis is imminent. I don't think Obama is going to finish his second term without the bottom dropping out. The stock market investors are oblivious to the problems. 2013. Then Carl Icahn, 2015. I see real tremendous problems ahead and I don't think we are handling it right and nobody really wants to talk out. George Soros, global markets are facing a crisis and investors need to be very cautious. Paul Krugman, 2013. It really does look like President Donald J. Trump and markets are plunging. So we are very probably looking at a global recession with no end in sight. I suppose we could get lucky somehow, but on economics as on everything else, a terrible thing has just 
happened. Ray Dalio predicting that the American economy will probably sink into a recession by 2020 with a 70% chance because the Trump efforts could backfire. This raises the risks of interest rates going up and it could, could quickly go into a bubble followed by a bust. And these are the returns that you would have achieved if you listened to those people and invested in bonds at those moments in time compared to the S&P 500 or even worse if you would have gone and shorted stocks or bought protection etc etc. So one has to be very very careful when it comes to stock market crashing crashes and doing great things. Yesterday we did a video about Peter Lynch and how he behaves through a stock market crash and he said that because of the noise, because of the risk, it's really a shame to ruin a great portfolio. And when you think about that, that's all you need to know. If you ruin your portfolio, you sell your best stocks, your great businesses you own, the businesses that will deliver 10, 20 years from now because somebody is saying there could be a stock market crash. And we have seen over time how many stock market crashes have been there and that's something completely normal. So when you invest, be accept stock market crashes will come. Okay, in the meantime, I make money by investing in great businesses Great businesses that deliver returns are taken over, uh, explode, stocks go up and uh, I don't know, that's it. Stocks are up 30-40% over the last year. Those that sold in December 2018 missed again on a huge, huge return. So by focusing on a recession, that's what you will get with your portfolio. Your portfolio will probably crash. By focusing on investing in great businesses, that's what you will get. Great returns, great businesses and great investment success over the long term. If you want to be a long term investor, a successful long term investor, subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell to get a positive mindset. I recently read somewhere that it's very easy to look intelligent in and smart by being negative, by being pessimistic. And that's all what the doom and gloom Armageddon, Armageddonists are selling you. They look very smart, smart because I can give you a data point about Chinese debt and then you think, okay, it could be a crash, it's a terrible situation, about budget deficits, about everything. But yes, that is a risk. However, you never know how we as humans will adapt to that, how we'll manage that and what will be the long term consequences. The world is moving fast, move with it, don't be focused on some prehistoric data metrics that we don't know what the outcome will be. And when I say we don't know, I don't look smart. I'm not convinced and if you want to sell something you have to be convinced and that's a problem. So that's a problem also for me to tell you a story. It, I would look smarter again by being a doom and gloom uh, Armageddonist than by being a positive guy that thinks that investing for the long term will deliver returns. You just have to be smart about it, accept the volatility and invest in great businesses. I know I'm boring but please like this video, subscribe, looking forward to your comments and I'll see you in the next video.